Okay, so it looks like you have the right chi-square value, so you're probably doing some things correctly, but that could have come from the formula instead of stat crunch. The big challenge here is that we have a standard deviation test, not a variance test, so we have to make some adjustments. The first thing I'm going to do is open in stat crunch. So what I've got here is the data in stat crunch. I'm going to pull out variance stats, one sample with data select my data and my variance the standard deviation is tested against the status quo value of 2.9 so my variance would be tested against 2.9 squared so I'm squaring the given standard deviation to get a variance value it's still a left tail test and we're going to compute so what I'm getting here is 9.82 so what typically happens is you have multiple values that can be acceptable for this so 9.82 is the value that you get from StatCrunch whereas um, and probably due to rounding errors and whatnot and then the p-value is 0 0.0427. These typically have multiple values that are acceptable. And so based on which technology you use, there are slightly different rounding errors. So let's type in 0 0.043 and see if that works. So I did get that correct. And what you'll note oftentimes is um, there will be multiple potential answer so when you get these wrong it'll say it'll tell you the correct answer could have been one of two or three things with some margin of error so that should do it you just have to remember when you're running the hypothesis test if you're doing a hypothesis test for standard deviation then in stat crunch you're going to have to square the value that you're testing against since that is considering only variance